Hi, welcome to the Pursuit of Truth. So uh, I meant to record this one ages ago. It was after seeing Strictly Come Dancing, uh, Motsu Mabuse was talking about how it's great to see some uh, South African or African uh, dance moves um, from South Africa uh, in one of the dances. And then she mentioned about, you know, how it's good, like, uh, historically, because a lot of the dances come from Africa. And I suppose... <coughs> And most people were in a gas thinking, no, they don't. They're all European or all English or <coughs> Spanish or Italian or something. And so I went and looked up about it. And yeah, a lot of the, the dancers come from Africa uh, or African-Americans. Um, not all of them, but there's a, a vast majority of them that you wouldn't think. I can Google it here. Uh, dances that originated in Africa. Yeah, it's going to be a bit like this today. Um, bear with me. Uh, it's difficult to find it now, isn't it? Well, you can Google it, isn't it? Oh, it's going to take time to find them, but there were lots of different ones that you know you wouldn't have expected, and so it made me think about this idea of um, the things that come from Africa. Um, and when you know that I kept looking up about that and it mentioned things like steam engines, metal chisels, saws, copper, iron tools, weapons, nails, glue, carbon steel, uh, bronze weapons, art. Um, there's another one here that's got 10 things, um, you know, like um, mathematics, um, Ubuntu, which is um, I am because we are. <coughs> so the idea of looking at humanity so the thing I always talk about is actually already been about for a long time Ubuntu jazz um, lots of things where's the other one there was another one I found as well four things you probably didn't know were invented in Africa. Glass, perfumes, papyrus. I know one of them talked about um, language. Um, it's funny, I, I searched for it before. I don't know what... It's funny, this is the thing, in Google, if you depends what you put. Uh, <coughs> that's what I know. Oh, yeah, here's one, I think. This is the one I saw before. So, maths, art, writing, language. Language says uh, Stone Age ancestors in Sub Saharan Africa were the first human species to develop a language system. A recent scientific study found that every language in the world can be traced to the dialect spoken by African ancestors over 100,000 years ago. I do want to do a different uh, pursue the truth about beginning of civilization to do with it was off the back of this we'll get around to that eventually medicine mining metallurgy architecture phones calendar cooking it says here ash that was found in a south african cave has led archaeologists to conclude that our ancestors were cooking with fire one million years ago now of course the caveat i will put in here is that yes is <coughs> obviously based on research other people have done i don't i can't validate it i i can't i know i don't know how they validated things a million years ago that were probably only researched in less than a thousand years ago whether their technology or their science actually does work in tracing back time and all that kind of stuff so yes this may be like uh, it's the best I can go on, that's, that's all we've got, is what other people have researched upon. The idea, the thing that made me think is like how many th things come from Egypt, from Africa, um, when it comes to um, civilization, you know, to do with art and maths and language. Um, and uh, yeah, obviously there are other nations that probably would came up with the same thing, like China, I know a lot of people uh, put China for language and stuff like that. Um, and what, what, what interested me is when you look at Africa now, how it is uh, a lot of poorer nation than, say, Europe or the Americas and other places. And why is that when, when you look at historically so many things, including maybe the, even our species, came from Africa? 
Now, of course, these things is talking about a million years ago. So maybe this is just a general thing that, you know, it goes over time. When I was thinking about it myself, I was thinking about did the slave trade in the 1600s, maybe before, um, make that difference because the way Africa was treated um, by Europeans and the way that they took over, possessed most of Africa, um, killed lots of people, indigenous people, uh, to take bits of land um, and also slave trade them to different parts of the world, maybe taking those ones that had these knowledges that they then uh, took themselves or maybe this, you know, I guess some of these things. But it's just funny how when they talk about it, when you see films of Europeans going to Africa, <coughs> they they describe them as savages and they dress them like savages. Where, whereas it, it doesn't quite make sense because these people came up with maths and art and language and all those things. So how is that? So it, it makes you think that the our minds have been a bit um, altered by these movies in the way that they were portrayed. And therefore we have this idea of Africa, which is actually not anywhere in the least bit based on fact or truth because so many important things that we all rely on now even still with like with phones and things and the minerals that they find there uh, wouldn't be without the the africas so yeah it interested me and that i was thinking like what how did it change that now africa is seen as a poorer nation a nation that's struggling whereas europe and america is 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 uh, way above obviously the slave trade must have made a big difference the way that um, I guess that's part of why Europeans took over bits of land was to take control of that, take the th good things, the golden things. They did, you know, uh, when you watch these movies, you see them, you know, that they, they bring priests with them to bring religion and, and language and commute English and etc. But the strange thing is, is they brought back things that they already were originated there. <coughs> like language most languages came from Africa that were never needed to be taught language maybe a different language English but that derivative deriv is derivative of the African languages according to uh, historical studies and obviously religion Christianity passed through Africa before it ever got to Europe but whenever my understanding was always that that was you know that the Europeans brought Christianity to Africa and converted them but they may have brought their own strand of it, but um, Christianity was is, was in Europe, um, within Africa far before uh, Europe, and so it's another one of those things where we've watched these movies that have had this false narrative, and we all believe on it. And then when someone questions about it, you don't realise that. Well, wait a minute, did you expect movies to be truthful? So yeah, it's, it's quite interesting when you think. Like uh, I mean, maybe also the money system. Um, you know, when that came along, that's really, you know, because whoever set it up obviously made sure that certain uh, currencies or the way it was worked out was beneficial to those ones who set it up. I'm sure they wouldn't have set up a system, you know, if it was uh, Britain or whoever set up the, the monetary system that we all now rely on. They made it beneficial to certain countries and, and not for others that you know, no one, we weren't all on and uh, money isn't equal to each country. That, and so therefore... That, of course, created a disparity between nations. Of course, in my understanding of the world, you know, like Ubuntu and that idea of that we're all human beings and we need to come back to that and, you know, stop looking at these segregations of bits of land that we possessed and think are ours alone, whereas they're not. We're just here for a small amount of time and we can't take anything with you, as John Lennon once famously sang. Um, so it leads me into about, you know, human DNA came out of Africa. Uh, humans came out of Africa according to DNA. Because um, there's some ideas that it was split between two uh, species. Um, well, yeah, Homo sapiens and Homo erectus, isn't it? But that now they're coming up with, um, they think that man came from Africa. Because I know there was Mesopotamia as well, I believe, was the other uh, place. Uh, and obviously there's some people that believe that maybe uh, China had its own uh, species as well. But, but looking at most studies these days, I'm veering into what I'm going to talk about in the next one, is about us coming from Africa. But I guess these things like were, you know, if we did really exist a million years ago, that's a long time for a lot of things to happen. Obviously, you know, maybe the slave trade and that didn't 
make any difference to historical Africa. It obviously does this in modern Africa, but historically because those Africans that maybe had the knowledge moved on because they wanted to explore. That was part of their um, thing. I don't know. The thing is, like, this is a huge gap of a million years to now <coughs> uh, without anyone really recording how this all happened, especially when it's probably not something people wanted to to record back in those days due to racial tendencies and, and racism. Um, and, well, look at the way that Europeans treated Africa uh, and its people, which were fellow brothers. You see, that's the thing. That's the thing we all forget about. You know, that, that's why this, I feel this is important, is that to see that we all came from Africa, we were once one, we are still one. It's just because we moved and over those times, I guess, because of the place to where we were in the sun, how much uh, light got, the pigments changed and we changed colour, we changed facial expressions as we got further apart from each other. But yet still, we're all human beings. We're all Africans or all human beings. Remember, African is a term that man made up itself, but we're all human beings. I guess all human beings is also a term we made up ourselves, but... We're all one. We may look different, we may sound different, we have different thoughts, but we're all actually one. And that, that point is so important and it's overlooked that this is the Ubuntu type thing. Because when you understand that, then maybe we start to think about, wait a minute, how the way we live, the way that we, you know, this idea of possession, poss possessing bits of land, you know, this is England, this is America, this is Africa, this is China, this is Russia, and fight over bits of land that we can never really own. We don't even know why we're here, who, what, where, when, and all that kind of stuff. We don't know that. You know, this may have been an accident, this may have been planned, this may have been God, this may have been, you know, whatever. But we're all here. Why are we choosing to live this way that people, you know, in the past have guided us into? You know, the ones that um, didn't really think about humanity as one. Now we have the chance to look, yes, we all know where we came from Africa. We all know we were all one species at one time and we all spread out. So that doesn't mean just because you spread out that you lose that connection. Just because someone tells you you're English, American, Chinese, Russian, whatever, you're still human beings. And we need to, you know, it's like family members when they move abroad, they don't beca not become family members, do they? So we're all still one and we need to work out, wait a minute, stop. The way we're working at the moment, where we're possessing bits of land, we're, 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 you know, our lives are dominated by how much money we have, you know, paper money that we invented this system. You know, we don't have to do the system if, you know, if God's given us free will and there's no, you know, Galactus or anything like that forcing us to, you know, to say to live this way. Why would we choose a way to live? that is detrimental to humanity as a whole. You know, that we can't help each other out because we don't have money or because I want to be the king or I want my country to be more powerful than yours and all this kind of stuff. We, we're all in economic crisis. People are starving, you know, in, in, in countries. Whereas this place that we found ourselves upon could sustain a lot more than we actually have. Many, many, many million billions more than what we have. There is enough uh, sustenance. There's enough resources and there's enough energy within us to do all these things i know i bang on about this all the time no matter what i talk about but this just made me think about that more you know that imagine how it must feel to be an african and to know that all these major things came and because of stupid humans you know uh, uh not remembering this and and uh segregating ourselves we fight over things and we just you know, we put Africa in a very bad situation now where, you know, there's lots of poverty and, you know, whereas we all came from there. It's our family home, as it were. Why would you let your family home fall apart? Or our family home is, you know, what we call the earth, this plane that we found ourselves upon. This place, you know, and all of us within it, we're all one and we need to find a way to get back to that so that we can stop having unnecessary poverty, unnecessary deaths, unnecessary sufferings. 
and, and and we will strive a lot more working together than apart. We all know that. So imagine, you know, one country working together. Imagine everyone working together, what we could all achieve, what we could all do, how much better life would be for each one of us. I don't know. But anyway, this came back from, from uh, Matsu Mabuse's comment. And it was very interesting and to see all the things that have come from Africa that you don't you don't learn in your own history lessons. And why is that? Why is that that we don't, you know, teach these things that are actually, you know, probably led by European researchers? Why isn't this, you know, uh, um, because obviously they want to, in, in school, they want to talk to you about your own country because they want you to be, you know, that within that circle. They may tell you periphery bits, but they want you mainly to th concentrate on the things that happened here, and that every country does that, so that you become patriotic to that, that idea, that identity. But your real identity um, is not man-made like that, is that you're human beings, that each one of us, we are all brothers and sisters to each one of us, and that we need to help out, like you'd help out a family member, we need to help out each other. And the only way we can do that is get rid of this system that that is um, living within that bubble of, of uh, segregation of us uh, as a human species and, you know, accepting that we're this and we're, you're, you're in that circle, so I'm not going to help you. Or I'll give you a little bit of money, but I'll charge you interest as well. The idea of interest, the idea of money per se, shouldn't, shouldn't be at all. The idea that we should be helping each other. Anyway, I know I've said this a million times. Anyway, I hope uh, go and research it yourself and see all the things and uh, take care, easy, bless and peace.